Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. So in today's video I'm using acrylic paint and I'm painting on some canvas paper on a relatively small format. And you can see I'm using a relatively limited palette. I have some white there, some yellow, some magenta and ultramarine blue. And I have another type of um, burgundy red which I wouldn't have necessarily needed for this. So yeah. Basically, I could have painted this just using primary colors. And what I'm painting today um, are two peonies and um, I am trying to do something that I'm not very good at and that is painting relatively loosely. I mean, I do en end up spending a decent amount of time on these flowers in the end and they're probably not as loose as they could have been, but they definitely don't look super realistic. So yeah, I think I kind of achieved my goal here. Anyway, um, I've mixed my colors a little bit for those petals and I've just loosely indicated uh, all of those petals and uh, those two flowers. And now I'm painting the background in <laughs> um, using a mix that is uh, that leans mostly towards green. So I'm mixing, all, obviously I'm mixing all three of my primary colors and a little bit of white as well, but um, yeah, um, overall it's meant to lean slightly towards green. It's indicating the flowers, the, the, the plants in the background. And I want a relatively dark background to contrast the nice bright flowers in the foreground. And I just keep darkening this up and I'm working relatively fast that the paint isn't dry isn't drying so fast oh well it's still wet and I can kind of blend the colors into each other you have to be relatively fast if you want to blend when you're using acrylic paint and you can see some indications of some leaves here and of a stem where I used some lighter mixes of green mixed in with some white for the petals of the flowers that I have already painted, obviously, <laughs> um, I used a mixture of magenta, white, and a little bit of yellow in some areas. And I'm just, I've just used variations of these colors and I've painted them in fairly loosely. The top flower, you can really see a lot more of the center. So there's a more green and yellow going on in there. And now I've switched to a smaller brush and I'm refining those petals a little bit more and adding some more intense color here and there, shaping the petals a little bit. Now I'm back using a flat brush, which will give me more of a loose look because I can't be as detailed with it. <laughs> and uh, basically the petals just kind of fold around the center of the flower and um, as I said I've just painted them in relatively loosely kind of following my reference photo but obviously because this is a more abstract painting it doesn't have to be entirely exact what you do want however once the painting is finished is a certain amount of contrast in there so that's one of the reasons why I keep retouching this until I really have the result that I want to go for You can see I keep darkening the petals, then lightening them a little bit again with white. And I just keep reworking and layering. And the more layers of paint you put onto your canvas, um, the more it looks like more. It, is, it just it adds texture and the layers underneath will always shine through. And um, of course you want to have the canvas itself covered fairly thoroughly and no white of the paper showing through. So it's nice to add a decent amount of color there. And here you can see I'm adding a lot of relatively white paint, possibly mixed in with a little bit of pink. And I'm just putting in the highlights and shaping my petals some more on the top blossom. And then I can go in and add more detail and darken the blossoms again. Here I'm using a really dark red to darken some of the areas of the petals that are in shadow on the bottom plant. And I also 
use some yellow to glaze in a little bit to, uh, to change the hue of those petals here and there. Indicating some more of the stamen there in the middle of the top blossom. And you can see here I've switched to fairly small paintbrushes again to be able to add a fair amount of detail. I mean one way to avoid being too exact in your painting and to remain very loose is to not use small paintbrushes. But um, yeah, that was not for me in this case. <laughs> I do like using small paintbrushes now and then. And you have on the petals often you have uh, darker areas going into lighter areas and it's nice to be able to blend those two colors into each other nicely which of course is very well possible with acrylic paint especially as long as it's still wet so you'd add your darker color there in the shadow area and you add your lighter color and you just blend the both of them into each other using a paintbrush So I've worked on these flowers until they look the way I want them to look with enough contrast and refinement um, and enough detail in there. And now I'm just adding a little bit of texture to the background using a relatively light mix of green and a palette knife and just kind of rubbing that over the surface of my canvas paper. And you can see it adds a nice texture there. So I hope you enjoyed this painting process and uh, you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. Remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So until next time, take care and bye bye.